Hello, it's Gem Games, and in this video we are going to continue with uh, Call of Duty Zombies weapon system. So yeah, let's start by opening the PP first person character. So yeah, let's add a new function to here. Let's call it um, pet recoil mm, variables. Whoa. Variable, for example. Now, from here, we have to we have to get the weapon mesh. Get relative um, rotation. Yep. Delete it. Let's actually move. Okay, it can be there. And from the Y, let's promote it to a variable like this. Let's call it. Free free coil rot like rotation and let's add a now we have to um we have to add to it and we have to add the recoil amount variable to it like this. And then we have to promote it also. And it should be called um, recoil rot amount like this. And now, now we actually have to do the same for the a uh, location. Get relative lo re relative location. Let's split it. Now I think we only have to get the x axis. So yeah, from here we have to promote this to a variable, and it should be called um, pre pre coil location like this, and then we have to add to this. We have to add the pullback amount that we already did on the first episode, and this should be promoted to a variable again. And the variable uh, should be called recoil location amount, like this. Now, uh, oh, uh, oh, I think I forgot to. Multiply. I think I have to multiply this by minus one if I remember what I did before. <coughs> okay. Now let's create a, another function. Recoil animation. It should be called like that. Let's add a a input. Uh, let's call it, let's call it uh, alpha alpha. This, and it should be float, compile and spare. And now, and now we have to get the gun again, or the weapon. Set relative, relative location like this. Okay, and from there, actually, let's move it to there and let's copy it to here also. Get relative location. No, no, what did I do? Get rel relative rotation like this. Let's split it and let's split. Oh, it should be set relative rotation, not location. Sorry about that. And now we have to split this also. And we can connect the X and the Z axis. And from the uh, Y, from the pitch, we have to lerp. And now we have to connect the uh, alpha to this alpha. And actually, I will move this a little here so we get more space. And then we have to, the A should be the pre recoil uh, rotation, this one. And the P should be 
Okay, let's actually make it a little bit cleaner. Somehow, I don't know how, but okay, maybe this way. Three and uh, recoil rotation amount should be the B. Okay, and now we have to get the weapon mesh again. Set relative location. And now we have to um, copy it one more time to here. And we have to get relative. We actually have to do the almost the same thing, or I think it actually pretty much the same thing as we did before. But yeah. Now we have to split this. We have to uh, connect the uh, Y and Z axis. And from the X, we have to lerp again. And it should be lerped from the alpha, should be the alpha also, like this. Be no. I will make this like. Okay, they are good. Um, and then, then we have the pre-location amount and lo recall location amount. Now it should be exact exactly the same for both, basically. Okay, and now we can actually compile and save and close these two. And go let's go to the event graph. And now we are here at the recoil. Now we can move these a lot further and actually let's give them more space. And now we have to add a sequence to here that, or we don't have, but this is the cleanest way to do it. So yeah, and from the second, we have to timeline, add timeline again. Let's call it this time uh, recoil, recoil, animation timeline for example and let's connect it to lay from the start okay and now and now let's open it let's add a float track let's make the time like 0 0.2 0 0.2 let's add a this to a zero and zero and then time 0 0.1 and value one and then one more uh, it should be value zero and time point two, so it's this like mountain. It goes up and down. Yep. And then, and then we should make it auto and auto from here, so it's a little bit smoother. Okay. Now let's go back to the event graph to here, and then we have to, and then we have to from the update. Let's add a sequence. Oh, that was not a sequence. Sequence sequence like this and now that we have the sequence here we can actually add a do once to here and let's get the first um oh actually we don't uh set recall variables should be the first one like this and then we have to Recall animation, let's put it here. And from the finished, let's connect it to reset. Actually, we can make this a little bit closer so it doesn't take that much space. And now we can move this to here so we can see it, what is happening like this. And then we have to connect uh, this alpha here. Now let's actually try if it works. Oh, I think I added the, let's check first. Uh, let's make the pullback amount to a, let's make it 5, for example, let's try how it looks. Okay, it's too much. Let's make it like 3. And then let's change the recall amount to 3 also, let's see how it works. Oh, actually, now I can't see anymore how the mm, recall amount, let's add. Uh, 
Oh, the pullback come off. Let's put it as a rollback. Okay, it's now it's turning to right again. So we have to fix that. I think we can fix that by. Mm, mm, Oh, I think I did this incorrectly. We have to move all these, or actually connect these to here, like this, from the X, I think. And now, if we go here to the animation, we have to connect this there. Actually, uh, let's check how it was. Oh, I think we just have to connect this to the X and the Y to here. I think now it should be working. But now it's going downwards for some reason. Okay, I think now we have to go to the set recall variables to here and recall amount and multi multiply it by minus one so it should change the change the rotation to a to uh to upwards so let's try if it works no oh, yeah now if we add the now it has recall like um let's make it 0.5 i think you cannot see that it, it's that small okay we have to go back here and change this to minus 3.5 for example let's see if it works better Now, if we add the pullback amount to here to three, maybe see how it works or how it looks. It looks decent, and you can tweak the settings how much ever you want. But it is already starting to look like a fire firing system, you know. Okay. So I think this is all for this video, and let's continue on the next one i don't yet know what we are going to do on the next one but let's see so if you like the video and if you learned something new please consider to subscribe and yeah hope you have a great day and see you on the next one bye